it to my spare battery. It's because I was streaming before. Okay, so just it doesn't, it doesn't. <clears throat> new tripod, let's go. The other one broke fucking when I needed it. It's like, God damn it. Mother. Why? Sheesh. All right, do me a favor, go stand by the third black, the second black bag. Second one here or second one there? Um, to your left. Yeah. All right. All right, and now walk closer. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming all the way. Okay, so right there. If we're in this square, we're gonna be kinda out of frame. So, he's gotta. All right, do that one more time for me. Okay, come on. Okay, here I got that. Here, right there. So the middle of, right here, that's good. Now the next thing I want to do is clean the bags. I'll let you both. Sure. All right, and then what we'll do is let's just stack them in the corner for now. Okay. Yep. And we're gonna do. We'll leave the. Should we leave the one bag? We got bags down there. I think we'll be good. We'll leave up the one all the way back. So this one, I'll let you cook. So our best spot's going to be right in the middle here. Makes sense. Okay.
Say no for those other two. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. 
Joel Fernando from Utah, bro. Joel, is that you? Media Lab? Come on, man. What's it been? 10 years? Is that you, bro? Got a lot of video footage, man. <laughs> what can we do? Come on, man. You down with the streams? Let's go, baby. All right, so what do we got? The, uh, the pummeling, we'll consider that actually a technique. Yeah. Martial arts, you came here to learn technique. But the trick that I did on you, I actually thought you fit in this. The stretching. It's a martial application of fitness. All right, so we're gonna alternate. Stretching, technique, fitness, technique. This we just did, fitness again. So now technique. We're gonna do takedown, so we either gotta do forward roll, backward roll, or break, fall, stand up. Yeah. 
And if you don't think this is a legit technique, I tell you to watch, re-watch Rose Namajunas defending her title versus Wei Li Zhang in the past UFC. A lot of up kicks from open guard.
guys, if you get a lot of momentum, you might be able to toss it. So, we can do this right now. Go with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it's a little more time. And so it's yeah. a triangle. Yeah. So I think you can actually turn it over to one. Yeah, I'll tap it up. Okay. Let me see if that's different. See, this way. Oh, that's a lot worse. That's worse. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a paintbrush. Yeah, tap. That's a paintbrush. Alright. Wait, I got my fences in. I'm going down the green. Let's go with you first. Setting me up for the Once you get it over, you peel it back, cross your ankles, cross your ankles, peel it back, and you bring the triangle to this side. Yeah, and you peel it like back over here, and ah, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. It's already yeah. feeling it in my shoulder. Yeah. Now, what was it that you were doing? You had the more, or what? Um, what I did was I locked, because you had it like this, right? Yeah. So I just locked my hands, and I locked over your arm now. Oh, uh, like what? Like that? Like this. And I grab your hands together, like you choked them on. Oh, I got you. And now, uh, you put, I put my right hip into it and broke it over the right hip. Like a twisting motion, like a, like a paintbrush. Twisting like so that, you're, like you're, that. Yeah, you're bringing your legs to the left and your arms to the right okay. as, you're, as you're pulling it back. Tap! Really? It like brings you back like this. Hmm. My natural instinct would have been twisting the other way. Well, it's, it's twisting because it's two directions. It's not just to the side. You still got to bring it back like you're doing. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs>
undefeated. It's a bad one? Where are we going? Yeah. Now, don't I'm going to slide your right knee all the way up there. Yeah. Yep, and then you sit. It's going to be even higher though. So, yeah, but hold on, hold on. How about the other thing? Please go to the left. Do you feel like a paintbrush? Yeah, it feels like you want to tear something. And the shoulder? Oh. At least we feel a phone like this. Like this one. So I what you do is you're going to point, and then you're going to point this knee down over my shoulder when you sit. And then worry about the other hook coming over. So you can out, you can cross it. Yep. And you can bring it. Oh. Man, I think you got to pull me back. Pull me back to the other side. Once you cross the leg over, pull me back to the other side. And then recross with the switch link. Yep. You are right. I think that's it. You are right. Because I remember something about that. Uh, uh, Ooh, armpit ripper. That's what that feels like. It just oh, feels like the armpit. Rip your fucking armpit out. Pull first. Step pull and then step pull down. Push check. this. Because the, the, to make my leg light, you got to get my weight off my feet. So that's why you step out of the way, you pull me forward, you turn me. Yep, and then kick. Don't do the kick. And then you throw the under up there. Okay. Well, that's right. Mm -hmm. 
remember, it's a takedown. You go down first. Your knee hits the ground first. Nice. Oh shit, this is next level. Fucking. You just are, although you don't need my arm in there. If you actually block me, so. Well, if you don't like what? Here? No, that arm's good. The other arm, it shouldn't have the arm my arm should be over, over the neck. Oh, uh, I got it. Like that. Little details I'm missing. It's my fault. So. You can also do this one already. Block. Nope, block. One more than you can go. set this up here is I'll go one knee on fucking belly and then I'll come let's see here. Uh you're gonna escape. Okay. And then what I do here I come here. Oh shit, that's a money move right there. Money move. The fucking arm is with the Shogun Assassin. <laughs> Where did you see that? Where did you find that from? The Shogun Assassin shot me. Himself. I was the kid in the was the Really shit? lean back and clinch on. Huh? Really fucking leaning back. Is that what I should be doing? Oh, I'm keeping you at a distance here. Now what can I do from here? Bang! Yeah. Watch out for a headbutt. Shit, man. You're not being too close, it's more here. Okay. Same move. I got you. You can drive with your head, too. That's fucking cheap, though. I'm not getting that. You can always go for the leg. You're going to be shooting anyone in this move. Move my arms in out like this, you feed it. You see? Yeah. Okay, so now your knee's gonna come over my arm. Right. 
over the shoulder when you sit, make sure that. And then when you go, you're going to turn it. So keep your, don't kick your foot out yet. Turn your knee down, this knee. Then you bring that leg over, that's going to come over. But turn this knee down over, like you're bringing me over with your knee, but don't bend, don't straighten it, like turn your knee and your hip. Bring it over my shoulder. To your left, to your left. Turn me, turn me. Yes, and then bring it over, bring this over. You see, bent, cross it. And then, let's see, you, 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 you pull it. Pull it to get it over my shoulder. That's, that's a real lock, but that's okay. But now I'll um, bring me to the other side. And then. Close to me and the other way. Okay, close them over. Just lock them up your arm. And now bring it to the other side. And then relock. Other way. You're all right. Yeah, I just skipped the step to get to it. Oh, okay. Whatever. Still. Nice. Let's move this arm. So this would be like a pump holder in here. Um, I mean, let's experiment with it. Maybe you can still be able to do uh, the, the shoulder. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let me try it on you, actually. And then I'll let you go the last two times. Move on. Move on. Okay. So, step. Come on. At the very extent, maybe. Tap. Ooh, that's a tap. That was it? That's okay. a tap. So it's a grip, too. You got to make it choke your arm. Hmm. How's that? I was doing almost like an upside down guillotine. Upside you know down. How, you know how we do pull up, push down, and twist? Yeah. 
Enjoy that. So you might imagine you're turning away from the legs when you when you you know when you do any twisting out yeah. direction. So what you want to do is what I did was I um, we were gonna make a choke grip. So, so, so right arm is you get it over my elbow. Uh, so we're gonna make a choke grip. Don't worry about this wrist here. Don't worry about going under the wrist. Go over. Get a get a guillotine grip or a, a rear naked grip. Sorry. You see, and now you turn. Turn in the two directions. Oh. Tap. You turn to the right with your body, right? Yeah. Okay, we got everybody. Shit. Somebody in a triangle, you're not likely to get them in a Kimura, man. It's just, if you get up to that point, the pain crush is right there. But remember, we locked over the elbow, that's right. You come over the elbow. You gotta let go. Now just come over the elbow, now grab your hands, you gotta shoot through. Yep, there you go. Get the, get the, the, um, the rear naked grip. Uh, like you're doing a rear naked choke on my arm, right? Yeah, but I mean, if you want me to go over it, I'm more or less just grabbing it with my elbow at that point. Your elbow is over my fucking neck, which in this case is my elbow. My upper arm. Yeah. If a little deeper, if you can, on my arm, like you want the, the bone underneath the elbow, you know, so it doesn't slip out. Yeah. Mm. That's all you need for this one because you, you're rotating with your fucking core. Okay. You know? So just point, make sure you got your arms the right way where it's pointing 
the choke is pointing the opposite direction of the legs, you know? So which way your legs are going? My legs want to go left, right? Your legs are going to go left, so the choke's going to the right? I think so. Is that what you're saying? I don't think that's correct. Should my legs be going Try. into the ground or Try. away from the ground? That's right. Uh, Try the other way, baby. This way, my legs will be going right, my arms will be going left. Uh, no, no, no. Whatever the other way was. All right. I want to do one more. I'll let you go. No. Okay. I'm really going to move on to the strike. <laughs> Second, hmm. Shit, once I get a bowl, I'm gonna get the whole thing. Can't just get the corn bar from there? We'll leave, we'll start off with that again next time. Okay, sure. okay, so now blending and striking with the takedowns is something that people don't, uh, you know, I'm sure they're changing their ways, but they used to have. Jiu-jitsu in the morning, fucking striking at night. Striking in the morning, jiu-jitsu at night. Conditioning in the morning, kickboxing in the afternoon, sparring at night. You know, for these guys, they're training multiple times a day. Jeez. I just do one session a day. I'm not on any performance enhancers. I just, you know, I need to recover. Apparently my fucking knee doesn't have an LCL right now. I don't know. It just pops out when I go to sit up on the right side. Holy, I was about to tap out, but we weren't rolling. I was like, oh, shit, fuck. I mean, bro, if your leg pops like that, shit. Yeah, it's not good. What happened was I was I had a guy in a triangle. And this was my first start. This is even before MMA. I was doing a jiu-jitsu tournament. Okay. Had a guy in a triangle, and he bridged out. Mm -hmm. And he was so strong when he went like this. My knee fucking popped. Jesus. It snapped the LCL, I think. I don't know. I won on points, but um, I didn't tap him out with that. I have to let it go. And I think now... Because um, I'm not fasting, I ate yesterday, and I'm working my way towards not having any extra, this is my theory, the, um, the extra material in here is causing an overall inflammation, you know, from stress, that um, it's not allowing this to remain tight. It's like everything is kind of like um, excess fucking healing that has to, it hasn't recovered. So uh, it's taken me a while, but this weekend I'm finally got everything lined up to be successful in my fasting. I'm going to not eat for the foreseeable future. I'm just going to, if anything, have liquid, kind of like juice fasting. This guy, uh, I went to another gym last Wednesday, uh, Vamos MMA. Okay. I learned that the uh, Alex Vamos, the professor there, he did a 40 day juice cleanse. Juice cleanse. I said, holy shit, 40 days. What is that, only juice? 40 days, bro. Well, what is it though? Like only juice? Juice cleanse, yeah. Oh, shit. Because I don't know enough about cleanses, bro. I don't know shit. Oh, you never heard of a juice cleanse? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Juice cleanse. 40 days, only juice. Could you imagine? And that's a professor of jiu jitsu. That gave me hope, man. It gave me hope that I could do it. And he's a professor of black belt, so. I trust him. Alex Vamos, he, he's kind of YouTube famous because he made a video where he went into a gym where nobody knew who he was and he pretended to be a white belt. Oh, no, really shit. Black belt. One of those videos. And they were like, I feel like I've seen something like that. I don't know if it was him, but I've seen okay. a video like that. Check it out. That's your gym. I'm gonna go back next Friday. <laughs> I don't want him to think that I'm mad. I, I don't want him to be mad at me because uh, 
I went without telling her. Mm -hmm. He thought I was coming Friday. I went Wednesday. Oh, shit. But, um, uh, let's try to get five days from this gym. I have to meet him. I met one guy while I was there. He said he would do the grappling. So I might do for my next event, grappling, slash, and then uh, in various different matches. Um, so, for striking, um, we're going to do striking into the clinch or striking into uh, a uh, lower body clinch. So like a, a, the one what they were called, no, what they were called a high crotch in wrestling. I so I go from here to here. Like a single one? Single, double, and the... Oh, uh, any of those like... You okay. can do those if you, if you want. Um, should we get the crash mat out maybe? This might have to do. What are you doing? We're going to do um, striking, shadow boxing. And then uh, we'll do combos and takedowns. Okay, so shadow boxing. Holy! Fucking knee pop out. God damn, that hasn't happened in a couple months. You fun. never get used to that bone shit. It's like breaking a bone. Man. That was so pop, bro. You heard that? Yeah. So the fact footwork. Yeah, that was luckily just a giant knuckle. Oh, yeah. Because the LCL's missing, the, the bone kind of slips. And then I'm like, oh fuck, it locks up, and then pops back in. What is the LCM? The, the outside. The outside ligament. Okay. Yeah, so if you can imagine, you get somebody in the triangle, and um, they just explode up, and the knee, like, uh huh, shifts. Like, unhinges. Shifts, yeah, because you, you lock yourself in, in the triangle. That's why I've been having trouble. Um, Get in triangles because I can't lock it. It feels too loose. And then I gotta, we gotta watch out for that. The middle ligament there, the ACL, is the MCL. Those go, you need to pop out all the time. Oh, we don't have a ring anymore? Footwork's good to practice anyway. I'm gonna go orthodox because the guy that I want to fight is uh, South the Is it beneficial to just go opposite? I go opposite because I want to stay away from the power. Okay. Their, their rear side, I'm gonna keep circling like this, away from their power. Pivot, 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 pivot. See, pivot, 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 pivot.
Uh, into takedowns. The only thing is, uh, we've got to go back to conditioning, so we did a bunch of technique. Okay. So the conditioning for tonight is going to be the rope smash, bro. Oh, shit. Or the sprawl jump, sprawl press. High crotch. What'd you say? Sprawl press. I like that idea. You like the sprawl press better? 
Damn, bro. Now we probably have to do both. Now we have to do both. All right, you know build a combo, right? Yeah. Build a combo with the sticks. sticks. Yep, and now every bell, you're going to do a takedown on me. Okay. Which is five takedowns. Could be what we did today. Could be something else. Go over there so I can frame you. In the hallway. All right. So come closer now. Oh shit, we got this thing up here. Oh, yeah, that's Let's put this up here. Okay. This. All right, let me frame you again. Let me frame you again, Luke. I'm here. Oh, you're in there? I'm there. Why is this not? This, and then, fuck this thing. Damn. This. Okay, there we go, right? Okay, perfect. Whew. What is that? Oh, the closet, okay. Huh? All right, perfect. Okay. That means you punch like this. Mm -hmm. Actually, you punch in the boxing gloves. You use the hand inside the rope. Slide, cross. That was three steps. You went one, two, three. One punch. Slide, cross. Pivot. See? Go. Do that again. Hold on. 
Go. Don't pump the punch either. Just shoot it. It doesn't have to be powerful, it has to be fast. Go. Cross. Weave. Big tip. So you come so far forward with your cross, you come to the plane. Big chin. Two. Clinch. Fake jab, slide, cross. Cross again. Jab, cross. Close it, I mean, clean. I want to go light.
Same time. You know you get bonus points for today's move, right? Yeah. Don't try to teach me a lesson by hitting me in the head. You want to get me to do the defense. You don't want to teach me a lesson. What am I really teaching you? You're going super slow mo to make me duck. So, one, two, three, four. Now I come here. Now we can come here across. Two cross. Oh, okay. I got you.
Bonus. Special gloves. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You gotta use mine though. You rather use yours? Go for it. Oh! Oh! Just have to, uh, instead of rope smash or medicine ball, we'll do. We'll do. Uh, oh! Oh! Chances of you spending kicks me in a match is very high. Spending kicks. Uh, uh, you are revealing a strategy. Jesus. Yeah, I know what's in I like the tools of those. They're pretty cool. You can use them to work on defense better without actually getting hit. Uh, 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 the best defense is a good offense. Get your hands in the Schoolyard headlock? Definitely, definitely. Randy Couture did that to me. It's a legit move. Randy Couture did it to me. But that's Randy Couture. Most people get their back taken. Randy Couture did a grappling match with Jacare Souza. He didn't get submitted to the same weight. So that just shows that he's a great grappler. Well, UFC most decorated champion at the time. Used primarily used his grappling. Randy Couture is a legit grappler. He does the headlock takedown. Anytime somebody gets on your waist lock, you could do a headlock takedown on them. If they fucking do a waist lock on you, you could do a headlock takedown on them. How's that? That's like considered the worst position. Somebody gets a waist lock on you. 
and you could legitimately do a headlock takedown on them. So I'm not saying it's a, a, not a legit move. I'm just saying, I'm just saying is all, that's all I'm saying. I was taught that you could get your back taken. Too risky. There's other moves that you can go for, namely the Kimura trap. Start on the water bags. All right, let's do BYO.
Dead, where's your right hand? Series takedowns. Um, 
Small press. Can you do a small press with it? Small press. Sorry, put the bar on mine. I'll go first. One minute, how many sprawl presses can I do with the 30 pound medicine ball? Um, Londos, McGrady Matt, with the flip, you like the jab? And Londos, Ed Lewis, I don't know who that is, sorry. Is that pro wrestling? I only do real fighting, man. UFC and on. None of this fake uh, worked matches, bro. Come on, man. Get out of here with that. I mean, don't get out of here, but get rid of that shit. Who the fuck is Ed Lewis? I know Joe Lewis, the kickboxer. He never did MMA, though. He was a P uh, PKF. Americans doing uh, kickboxing with no leg kicks. One minute of sprawl press. One minute of cross hook series. One minute of takedowns, one more minute of sprawl press, and then one more minute of cross hook series. That's the drill. Can you hear anything, by the way? I don't know if this music is copyrighted. Real? Count it. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, 
Rope smash one minute. Keep your elbows in while striking. Repetition, man. You got to repeat it thousands of times, bro. First, you got to remember to do it, and then you got to keep doing it until you don't think about it anymore. Practice. What do you want? You want some kind of trick, bro? Trick? Ain't no tricks.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, come on, 25, 6, 7, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, come on, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, one, two, three, four.
six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, smash, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, smash, two, three, look up, smash, bend your knees, seven, eight, Remember, put your back into each knee. Ooh. Quality, think quality. You got two minutes to do a bunch. Don't think you have to get a high number. I want good knees. Count it though. Four. Count to train yourself to breathe out when you need. Five, six. Last minute. Stop cursing. Am I cursing, bro? I know I've been cursing, bro. I was cursing at Royal today. All right, Big Luke, we got one more thing, then I'm going to let you go. It's getting late. We, I turned the, uh, the stream on two hour, over two hours ago, two and a half hours. What could be left? Well. The last thing I'm thinking is one minute each for a total of five minutes each, alternating, 10 minute interval, straight kicks on the bag, and then we'll stretch. We'll do a, five, a two minute stretch. All right, so you want to go first or you want me to go first? You know this drill, right? Try to stand over here. Try to stand right there so that let me see. The bag's right there. Let me see. Throw a front kick. Hold on. on the right back? Right and left? The, the big one, yeah. Okay, perfect.
Sidekick, huh?
Every move has its advantage and disadvantage. So yin yang. Yin yang. Yin yang. Yin Every move must be complete of itself. When you jab, you, you, you extend, you also have to step back. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When you do a round kick by itself, it comes back to where it came from. It doesn't land in front. I don't want that on your first. If you're trying to kick, you could also roll out. Not five minutes. Tick. Hey. 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 Go to the front stretch. Back. And down, let you out.
I think I'm afraid of you. Put your hands behind you. I'm not going to do it. Lean back. And then. You. I'm going to your hips. I need you. Whatever.
Probably not gonna want to clean the mat, so we're gonna have to do a kickboxing uh, striking workout.
I don't know, guys. What should I do? I'm going to end the stream. Oh, Grady Matt recently used the Zoodle recipe, and it tasted awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Matt. Are you the one that requested it too, bro? Yo, that's your recipe, man. M much appreciated. I think that's a winner, man. I think that's a fucking winner. I made it with Doyle today. And that's looking like a commercial recipe. This guy that I um, I sold the food to last week, he's coming back for more. He wants the zoodles. He wants the ice cream. And he said the soup used to taste better because I actually was making it at the gym here. I brought my hot plate in. It was you? Yo, awesome, man. I'm glad you like it. That was for you, bro. That means a lot. That's that's a commercial recipe. Here, let me show you what I'm planning. Just a little backstory. You got to go to. I think I I let the uh, the account go, but it's it's still on Blogspot. It's called. Um, yeah, I used. I if you check the recipe that I did today with Doyle, it's a little updated, and I wrote it down. You could screenshot it. It's got nutritional yeast in it. But um, here's my concept, ready? So Doyle, what up? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. That last video we did? I first looked at it in the first hour and said 31 hits. And now it's three hours ago. And says 38 hits in three hours. Got you, got you. 38 hits in three hours. That's a record for us. For what? real? Really? 38 hits in three it's hours. It's been a while That's since a I drew this. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. a record, man. Okay. 38 hits in three hours. I guess I'll take your word for it, man. I thought it was more than that. More than that? Okay. If you say so. Yeah, it's a record for us. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm streaming right now, man. I'm at the gym. Okay. I'll let you go, but I want to let you know that's pretty cool, right? All right, man. We're back. All right, bye. Next time, we're going to get 39. Next time, we got to get 90 in three hours. I like it. I like where your head is at. Keep on keeping on. We're going to win. Yeah. Keep the faith. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate it, man. All right, bye. God bless. Bye. So it's a bad drawing, but it's a dinosaur humanoid in an Iron Man suit. So his name is uh, Mega. And he drives a, a transforming excavator. You can see it on Dino N Digger dot blogspot. Com. And there's a whole series of comics that I wrote. Yeah, it's been a while since I drew this. I usually draw it in pencil and then go over it with marker. And then I digitize that with my phone. I did it for a while. I probably got five solid, four or five solid storylines to eventually turn into a cartoon. And then this is the mascot for the, um, the Zoodles because it's, it's made with dino cheese. And so he's... Um, you know, he's powered by like pumpkin seeds or something. Check the comic out, dinoanddigger.blogspot. Let me know what you think, man. I haven't done it in a while. The last thing I left off on was that I believe they got kidnapped by um, what they thought was like this all powerful evil corporation turned out it was the benevolent Illuminati and um, they were being uh, basically uh, groomed through these battle trainings to to become leaders to become a leader it's really mega he drives he drives um, uh, Z tech which is the transforming excavator and you know he, he could transform into a, like a giant Robo suit and he could transform into a fly, a uh, jet, a flying thing, with the um, the tracks turning out to wings, and he could turn into, of course, an excavator. And then Mega drives him, or it, and those are my two's based on my two sons, and uh, yeah, so it was based, it was, you know, I was, I was trying to sell dino scales with that, and then so now that we got the zoodle recipe, it's Master Lukey's mac and cheese. Or Mega Mac and Cheese. We can call it Mega Mac and Cheese. How about that? Ooh. Mega Mac and Cheese? What do you think? Mega Mac and Cheese sounds good to me. I don't know about you, Grady. Matt. Mega Mac and Cheese. Come on, man. Mega Mac and Cheese made with superfoods. Mega Mac and Cheese. Maybe I gotta write this shit down before I forget. Mega Mac and cheese made with superfoods. Everybody loves that word, superfoods, even though it's stupid. Uh, superfoods is, is, is wrong because food is plural. There's no foods. Food itself is plural. <laughs> so, um, my teacher used to get mad at that. Or not mad, but he goes, why do they say superfoods? Food is plural already. So, yeah, um, you know, 100% account of uh, transparency. I'm going to eat the fucking food I made with Sir Doyle today. I'm going to eat um, the ice cream that I made from yesterday. And then tomorrow is going to be my last day eating 
and I'm going to make ice cream with my sons. And I'll make them, if they want, I'll make them zoodles. But if not, um, I'll make ice cream and I'll eat that. And um, that's it, I'll stream that, hopefully. And uh, I don't know, I might jump on for Fortnite later, to be honest. What time is it, eight? Got some time. We gotta play now. Kinda hungry though. Gotta clean the kitchen before I cook. What else, guys? I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off now. Let me get my write a write a question in the chat. Whatever. I'm gonna go get my clothes on. Let's see, uh, you like that you used a comic book to tell the story of life foods. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the concept, man. I had a meeting with uh, Ted Carr's team yesterday. Ted Carr's uh, um, online, you know, marketing, vegan, um, he's an online vegan course uh, marketer. Vegan courses like, um, you know, fucking going vegan, you know. Um, seems like a, um, a long shot, but, you know, I'm trying to glean aspects of his program. So, basically, um, the idea is that there's 10 mythical beasts, right? If you look at my, my logo, 
It's ten mythical beasts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then nine, and then ten is a is a statue. Ten is a statue holding the ring. It's not an actual mythical beast. It's an honorary rank. But each mythical beast has its own comic, and each comic has a, you know, a recipe. And that recipe is the recipe for that comic, for that mythical beast. And it teaches life food certified concepts, you know. Each mythical beast has its own recipe, and each recipe teaches something about life food certified. So, what can we learn from the zoodles? Well, there's um, the idea of, first of all, dairy. Why is dairy bad? Why are regular noodles bad? What's good about the zoodles? Um, you got a few different things. That would be more of an advanced recipe. The first mythical beast for the bull pegasus, it's something as simple as um, getting a pure water, um, mixing it with a, a ratio of Celtic salt, which is one, one, uh, quart, one quarter teaspoon of salt. Might be one eighth of a teaspoon. It's one eighth to one quarter of a teaspoon of salt per gallon of purified, ultra pure water. If you can get ultra pure. If you can't get ultra pure water, you can use pure water. And that's called charged water. Well, that's what Jub calls charged water. I call it force water. Force water is, my, is the Master Luki version of Jub's charged water. And that's used in all the recipes. This has a base. Gun to your head, 50 bucks, what you got? The what? Gun to your head, 50 bucks, what are you picking? No. Between Rodriguez and Holloway. Uh, oh, gun to my head? Gun to my head, I'm gonna go. I'll wait until the end of the comic. No, he's probably the favorite. He's probably the favorite. That is like makes sense. To me, on paper, that's a 50-50 play. 100%. I'll give that to Rodriguez physically. Yeah. And that's the only thing I haven't seen them standing next to each other because Holloway's big. I mean, he's tall. I wouldn't say he's big. I'll see you on the way. What's today? Friday? They may have probably weighed in already. Then I'll be able to see. I get a better idea of who's bigger, who's be who's gonna win. One ninety. And what is this? One forty-five. <laughs> okay. All right, man. So I'm picking. I'm picking Rodriguez. Gun to my head. Oh, Korean zombie? I think so, yeah. That was that year, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay. I just don't know if it was Korean zombie. It was like a back upwards elbow. It's crazy. Okay, I'm packing up my headphones. What do we got here? 
I use some of the recipes from David Jeb's book and coordinate with your recipes every other day. Oh yeah, that's dope, that's cool. What do you mean every other day? So you switch, you go Jeb, Master Luki? Damn, you dedicated. That's dope, bro. You're probably a healthy guy. If you are a guy, I don't know, Grady Matt, I don't wanna assume. I don't wanna gender you, man. Poor person, you yeah, don't want to gender you. I just gotta stop saying man. This is Matt's usually a male name. I don't want to gender you. Fuck! <laughs> so you go Jub recipe, Master Luki recipe. That's good eating. <laughs> That's some good eating. Yeah, I'm not trying to come up with a lot of recipes, man. I'm I'm pretty strict, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't need a lot. I got I got about 10 recipes good ready for market. There's the sushi. There's the mac and cheese. There's the ice cream. There's the lemon ice. There's the soup. Did I say sushi? Did I say sushi already? There's the cheese, the cheese wheel. There's, um, uh, dressing, hot sauce, teriyaki dressing, hot sauce. Um, I said cheese wheel already. Did I say sushi though? Um, yeah, so that's eight recipes. Pizza, pizza, nine. Pizza was nine, the pizza crust. And then, um, and then I could do something like uh, a cracker, a goldfish. That's what it was, goldfish. So those are my 10 recipes. And that's it, I'm not gonna really go crazy with the recipes, you know? I just need a book, and then I need a, pl a, uh, a place to make it all. So thankfully this guy wants to order again. I said sushi, okay, thanks. Yeah, so thankfully this guy wants to order again. And uh, so I'll, I'll, make the, uh, I'll make the menu up for him. And then if he's a repeat customer, how much money can I get from him a week? Uh, he buys $100 worth of food. And then from that, oh, you brought dino scales, let's go. Matt, I'm your biggest fan, bro. Hell yeah. You haven't made dino scales in a long time, holy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, progress. They'll always be there. They're easy to make. Um, you know, they're still on my website, so if you order them, I'll make them. But, uh, you know, I just, I guess, got to the point where I realized I have to make it here, where I'm at. So, if this guy becomes a regular customer, you know, I can p potentially build from there. He's got a hookup with his doctor and the doctor's got him on the special diet and that's why he came back to me. The doctor, you know, I put him on a low oxalate diet and all the ingredients that are on the list where he's supposed to eat from is stuff that I use. Not all of it, but you know, most of it is on my list. So he said, oh shit, I guess you were right all along, right? Um, so yeah, it's just been a bit, for me, it's been a, a, a process of monetizing and, you know, they say what one man can do, another can do. They say if you work hard enough, you give it all you got, the American dream's gonna come true. This is the land of opportunity. So, you still try the, dino re the recipe for dino skills, but mine tasted better. Okay. I don't know what it is. Did you go buy the recipe in my book? Because I might have put more salt. I don't know. It's been a while since I made him. So. Yeah. I'm just trying not to eat. One, one, one year when I first came down to this area, it was probably 2015, maybe 2018. I don't remember. I get my dates kind of blurred. But um, it's 2021 now. Could have been 2020, 2018. Um, 
for some reason, the number 18 sticking out of my head. But all I ate was dino scales. Oh, from the book. Yeah, so it's probably more salt. You got to add more salt. All I ate was dino scales for like 28 days or something, like 21 days, or eight, maybe it was 18 days. It was something ridiculous. All I ate was dino scales. All day. Anytime I ate something, dino scales. Didn't eat anything else. Just, that's it. It's good shit, though. And then uh, I got the cheese. I'm gonna go have some uh, Mega Mac and cheese. You good, Matt? You text me anytime, bro. Call, text, email, fucking social media. Any questions you got? I got, you know, I could translate recipes too. So if you have requests, hit me up on that. Anybody else? That offer is open. You got any questions? You let me know. Master Luki, over. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. See you next time. On another exciting episode.